Hi folks. Hi. On this edition of Cabin Life, we're going to be harvesting a Christmas tree and cooking up something real good over the fire on Cabin Life. Ah, okay, well that should be all right. It's a pretty tall tree. I suppose it could be a little fuller, but it's a tree from our own property. It was one that was going to go anyway, so make the best use of it. More. Notice I cut on the far side of where my legs are, so even if you glance off, you're not going to hit your leg. Safety first. That's cool. Wow, it takes a little bit of energy to get a tree out of the bush. And uh, it's funny that we've done that in previous years. We've gone and gotten our own tree. I don't recall feeling this tired. <laughs> Is this one of those, takes it's, two of us to do it three times as long? I don't know, it's the cold. <laughs> it's the cold that's doing it, that's what it is. All right, well. The snow's deep. Yeah, the snow's really deep and there's so much stuff in under the snow. Got to be real careful. Anyways, yeah, Christmas time. Beautiful time of year. Coming up to the middle of December now. And, uh, you know, I recall as a kid, always going to our aunts and uncles visiting with, with uh, my parents. We'd go to one or two of the uncles' places and aunts and visit, visit the grandparents and it was always a great festive time getting together and, and doing that. And as I got to be a teenager, I, uh, I actually started going to all the different uh, neighbors in our, in our neighborhood. And uh, usually on a Saturday afternoon, sometime a week or so before Christmas, I'd, I'd stop in and say hello and wish the family a Merry Christmas. Just something I would do on my own. And... Uh, visit with my buddy for a while and, and uh, say Merry Christmas to his parents and all that stuff. And not only because it was the time of year, but um, it was the one time of year that uh, everybody was at home and, and uh, in a festive mood. So it's nice when neighbors can get together, even if they live apart most of the year, to get together once a year. Um, and here we are, we're out in the middle of, in the middle of nowhere now. It's very, very quiet here. So I think we'll just have to make the time to go out and visit our neighbors and say hello. And, and we've actually got some uh, brand new neighbors in the area that we'd, uh, that we'd like to say hello. And uh, they've been making their homestead on the property. And uh, anyway, it's just good to be friends and, and create friendship and, and community. And uh, that's what we'd like to see more of as we, as we put our roots down in this area near Algonquin Park. Great people out here. Yeah, very good.
Okay, ready? And warm the hands up. Get a little bit of friction. You got to get the heat. And then Well, last night we tried to make a fire right on the snow and even though I'd cleared the snow away from the fire pit the, and put the, a wood base on it to start the fire on that, um, it would seem that the, there was so much moisture and I guess with the snow and the wet wood there's so much steam coming off. It was about minus 20 or minus 22 Celsius, about minus 8 or 10 Fahrenheit. and. Uh, there was so much steam coming off of the fire and uh, off the uh, pot of soup that Maureen was cooking that uh, when she placed a light over the pot of soup, there was so much steam and uh, smoke that you couldn't see anything uh, well enough to video. So here we try it again. This time uh, we used a barbecue and I uh, just made the fire in the barbecue and looks like things are going real well. I think I might give a little howl to the wolves. See what happens. See if we get any. See if we get any answers back. Wow, that was amazing. I don't always get an answer back when I howl for the wolves. That was awesome. And I don't howl for the wolves any time after February because the wolves could have pups on the go, raising a new breed of pups. So I, I don't howl from February, March, and April. But that was amazing. Well, it looks like we got a nice bed of coals there on the fire on the barbecue tonight. I don't think we'll have as many steam issues. Well, I'll have to go see what Maureen's up to and see if that pot of soup is ready to go on the fire. I'm hungry and it's freezing out. It's like minus 20 again. of selling the, our previous house and preparing to live in the cabin, 
had to make a lot of decisions about what I wanted to take for the kitchen and what was going to get packed away in storage. And having a lot of kitchen gadgets, I had to do a lot of thinking about what I wanted to take. Um, by the way, in here is some carrots and yams and butternut squash, cabbage and celery. And to that, we're going to be adding some green pepper and onions and potatoes. Yeah, so I had to really decide what I wanted to take and what I wanted to leave behind because we had limited storage space and refrigeration. So I had to learn to cook just for that meal because there was no way to store leftovers. So it, I had to really downsize my meals. That's one nice thing about having the cabin life is uh, simpler ways of cooking, like cooking over a fire. With my soup, I was like putting in sesame tahini. It adds just a nice little flavor and soy sauce. And there we go. We're ready for campfire soup. See you at the campfire. Okay, Glenn's got a good fire going there for me, so I'm going to start up a campfire soup. This is one of our favorite soups that we made last year. It's a good hearty soup. Being in the cabin, we had to figure out a lot of one pot recipes. I didn't have a stove. That was oil there, by the way. We had a, like a camping stove and then the fire. So most of my dinners were made in one pot. The carrot medley is in there. Onions and green pepper going in. Oh, it's starting to smell so good. About a tablespoon of tahini. There's the soy sauce going in. A few squirts. Potatoes! Gotta have potatoes! There's a jar of tomatoes. And now a vegetable soup stuff. And that's all the ingredients. Well, our soup is ready. It smells great. One good serving of vegetable soup coming up. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Mmm. Smells good. I'm hungry. It's been a blast. We've, uh, we've done lots of stuff, lots of snow in the winter wonderland here. And that's it for this edition of Cabin Life. I'm Glenn. And I'm Maureen. Over and out. See you next time. Take care.